you see the turnovers in this team? Um, you know, what did you make of them? What do you think? Uh, I feel as though like um, just a little lazy. Uh, not really following the game plan. We know they was doubling the cola, so we're trying to uh, you know, uh, shake over for him or cut, you know, just just to find you know open outlets for him. But I don't think we followed the game plan as far as you know, just trying to you know uh, make it better for him. I was I, I was I would say he was getting doubled the whole night in the post, so give him outlets. But then I felt like it was a little just a little lazy with the ball. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, what you just said, self-inflicted uh, stuff we can, you know, control. Uh, I don't think the defense was that pressured. Uh, we, that was just inner self. How did you feel out there? Legs felt really heavy. But uh, I know I had to come in and play lots of minutes to try to win. But uh, and I try my, you know, my best come being, from being in quarantine for the past three, four days. Uh, so I did some great things out there. But, uh, you know, we didn't come out with the win. Uh, it, it took me uh one game last time I was in quarantine. I came back to Spurs the first game. You know, my legs were really heavy. Then we played them again in like two days, and I finished with like I don't even know. But you know, it is it don't take me that long. But my legs felt really heavy though. <laughs> Uh, first, you know, I got a call around like 7.30 uh, a.m. I uh, think it was either Dan or it was Steve Short. And it was like, you know, uh, we got a flight uh, on standby for you. Go test at the arena uh, around like 8 something. I got the test. I had a test twice. And then uh, I had a flight around uh, 1.30. Got to the airport around 11 something. Got on the flight. <clears throat> uh, car service picked me up. And I... Came straight here, so this is the second time I did this. So, <laughs> getting really familiar with it. Yeah. Uh, you know, all the traveling, I feel as though guys would be more comfortable now that we got a home, uh, big home stretch coming up, and uh. I believe it was the beginning of the season. We had one of those, and we was on like a six-game win streak. So, uh, hopefully, we can get back to that, and as a collective group, and uh, get guys back from our uh, protocols, and we get back as a unit and play how we uh, uh, usually play. Um, how much do you feel like you just been out for a minute? But how much do you feel like you have the playbook down? Like you know, Popeye said, like I still feel like he's trying to learn the playbook if something's bad. Do you yeah. Feel like you're in the learning process. No, nah, I I know the playbook. Uh. It's just sometimes, uh, you know, in different when you're in different positions, uh, sometimes I'm out there and I'm playing a three slot and I'm like, they just go on the fly, like what what the play call is. But I really know the from the one and the two. But like sometimes just because of the position you win when you're in transition and you they call it on the fly, then the coach says bones go to air dot. I'm like, dang, like <laughs> just you no, know, just get into like little action, you know. But I mean, it's definitely a learning curve and learning experience for me. But I, I'm I'm very familiar with the playbook though. Much mm-hmm. uh, and, and a good defense can defend the first and second action. Yeah. Third action where you can make you know headway. You you feel like you guys are dribbling. Yeah, I mean, guys, you know, uh, you know, was just trying to make a play, just to try to you know see see what what the outcome would be. But uh, you know, we definitely have isolation players on the team. But when you when we move in the ball, it's even better. But, uh, you know, guys are just trying to make the, the best play. They weren't trying to, you know, force it or, you know, turn the ball over. They were just trying. But, uh, you know, it, it happens. Uh, we just move on from it and just, you know, get back to how we've been playing. Go to Joel Rush on Zoom. Hey, Bones. Uh, going back to the playbook, um, is it a different process to kind of internalize and, like, kind of feel the playbook than just, like, learn it? as a, you know, intellectual on paper kind of thing? Uh, I'm the type, you just show me it, then I understand it. Uh, well, I, I'm good either way, whether it's on paper or whether it's, you know, uh, them showing me actually physically, but I prefer physically learning the playbook. But, I mean, I, ain't, I don't have trouble with the playbook, though. Central Moore and in with Jim Conway. 
Hi, Bones. Uh, Coach Popeye said there was a bit of confusion there in your coverage there in the fourth quarter. Was that really evident in Reggie Bullock's sort of two trees, two back-to-back trees? Because you were in the game and those two back-to-back trees were the daggers that really ended it. Yeah, uh, most definitely. Our coverage was, uh, you know, me showing when uh, Luca come off the screens and, you know, we didn't follow that game plan. Uh, guys kept, you know, telling me to black, but, you know, I wouldn't put that on other teammates. That's a, as a collectively group, we just wasn't communicating as a team. But, uh, you know, when I was in, our game plan was to, you know, show and uh, get back. And, uh, you know, we just got caught and keep saying black to switch. And, you know, that, that wasn't the game plan. But, you know, like I said, it's, it's a team collectively thing. Uh, it's not on, you know, just one person. It's, it's, it's as a whole. All right, big boss. Mm-hmm.